present uh, sometime in the, uh, over the last six months, he actually, and so was some of our other officials in this room. But uh, we represent the MCO, represents the correctional officers uh, here in Michigan, the state correctional officers. And uh, as you all know, the correctional officers are the police force in the prison. And we are responsible for the safety and security of that institution, and that's where our concern comes in. We did not represent, as I think most of you know, uh, the food service workers, but we have the safety and security concerns. Um, there has been tons of problems since Aramark has come in. Uh, this company uh, is an experienced company. It has uh, food services and hospitals and uh, schools and a variety of uh, places across the country and in prisons and jails. And uh, of course, prisons and jails uh, present a particularly uh, unique situation that everybody they, they know about and that everyone should be concerned about. Uh, they've been having troubles in other states too, but we're not here to talk about the other states. Uh, uh, we're talking about Michigan. Uh, I've heard some, um, uh, actually a few legislators say the unions are fly-specking or uh, trying to throw out every little problem. Well, let me assure you that, uh, at least from a correctional officer's point of view, uh, when you're having uh, these kinds of problems in a prison over food, uh, not to mention uh, people being fired and that type of thing, which I'll comment more on in a second, uh, these are these are not fly specking. These are these are big problems. These are things that correctional officers, the cop on the beat, has a gut about and knows there's going to be problems and. Aramark should have hit the ground running. Now, we understand a few weeks of transition, that's going to always occur, but it's been now seven months. And in seven months, or six, in, through a six-month period, as you can see, uh, we gave some imagery here, uh, there's been uh, almost 80 stop orders uh, on Aramark employees that have occurred in this, you know, over about a six-month period, including this week. We've got We've got, uh, I mean, the department itself, a couple, uh, three weeks ago, almost three weeks ago, commented they had 71. They admitted that. They also said MCO was almost all on the mark on all the things we've been saying. They, we were pretty much on the mark. Uh, now, since that letter that uh, the Department of Corrections sent to Aramark June 6, warning uh, Aramark uh, again, uh, warning them that they were going to, the department was going to strictly enforce the contract, uh, starting July 1st, uh, we've had several stop orders occur since that letter. I mean, it's just a, a, a ridiculous notion to have employees in there that uh, keep um, uh, violating rules. Uh, some of the biggest rules that have been violated are this over-familiarity with prisoners, being too friendly, as some have written, uh, with prisoners. That uh, is always... Um, uh, folks just think that could be sex with a prisoner. It is, of course, obviously, but it's other things as well. It's love letters. It's uh, doing favors. It's letting them get away with things. Uh, that's over familiarity, and that's a dangerous thing in a prison. Uh, officers are always concerned about that uh, with over familiarity. And these stop orders, uh, that means other things to the operation. That means there's turnover, massive turnover going on constantly. Turnover in a prison is bad with staff turnovers. We want consist consistency. We want routine in a prison. Prisoners need that. They want that. They want to know when uh, this is supposed to be done or when they're supposed to go here or who's out of place. They even want to know that because the prison is as dangerous for the prisoners as it is for the staff. Um, so this uh, issue with the stop orders, I think, has not gotten the attention it needs to. That's what we're concerned with. We're reading a lot and hearing a lot about food shortages and uh, food substitutions, and those things are bad because they geek up the prisoners, and they don't have a lot in there, and food means a lot to them. And as soon as they even perceive, uh, we've had demonstrations in the past where they perceived just the changing of the container of the, what the dessert was changed and they thought it was cutting down their portion. They had a demonstration. They had to call emergency response teams in from other institutions to uh, disperse and lock up the instigators and disperse the rest of the prisoners. And that was um, just from the perception that the uh, 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 
usual amount wasn't being given. It was just because the institution changed the container. So uh, those stop orders don't even count how many Aramark employees have quit. We've had a bunch of them quit as well. So there's where we have the turnover and other things that are, are causing problems. Yeah. We would submit that, uh, you know, when you pay employees 10 or 12 bucks an hour, you're always going to have issues. Minimally, if they're not a poor employee, minimally they're going to quit. They're going to co contribute to this turnover, and uh, which is a bad thing in there. And uh, I'm going to tell you, I can't believe, I mean, obviously, AFSCME and MCO that's dealing with the security issues uh, don't like any of this, but I have to believe the Department of Corrections doesn't like this either, all the way to the top. I have to believe that. We hear from wardens and deputy wardens and all others in these institutions out there all the time about they'd like them gone. I don't think they wanted them in the first place at the f facility level, the prison level. And uh, we're hearing it all the time, and I believe that uh, this department has to be embarrassed by now, uh, uh, frustrated perhaps by now, and I have to believe that this department would like to see them gone too. So uh, in regard to unions fly-specking or um, pointing out every little thing, it's not little things. These are big things and we're moving into the hot summer. We've had prisoner demonstrations. We've had prisoners boycott meals. We've had prisoners breaking trays. We've had prisoners um, uh, indicating uh, through a variety of means their disappointment and their frustration with the prison, with the food service uh, and all that. Now we have sanitation issues too. And these sanitation issues, I mean this finding maggots and all that stuff, there can always be a sanitation issue in any uh, big uh, operation like this, but this is just outrageous of how these things are going on. And we've had wardens, these are wardens that are going and stop serving these meals because they've observed directly uh, uh, maggot problems and other problems uh, on there. This picture shows some potatoes with maggots on it. Another one uh, shows oranges earlier in the year. Um, as you might guess, we don't get all the pictures. We get the information, but we don't get all the pictures and, and these things, but we get the information. Uh, so sanitation is another issue that's going to raise that. By the way, correctional officers eat that food too. I mean, that comes, it, the ones that want to have a meal, they're provided a meal under our contract, and most of them aren't touching this food at this time uh, because they see what's going on. Um, We've, Airmark's had a $98,000 fine in, that occurred in February or March. Uh, we all, I think I can speak for everybody here, submit that in a $145 million contract, a $98,000 fine is peanuts to this company. Uh, a half a million dollar fine would be peanuts in, in a $145 million contract. What needs to happen is for the state, for the governor to say they have to go. Governor has to say this company's had its stab at this, and it's failing, and it needs to go, uh, or something worse might happen in there, and then that's bad for everybody. And I am perplexed. I've said this to a few of you. It seems to me a branch of government is missing in action, and that's the legislature. The legislature. This came out of the legislature. That's where this really was generated, and 